Hi, I'm Hamza Chanjua. I'm a senior in civil engineering right now. From I'm doing it from Iowa State University. And on the side, I'm a licensed contractor in Iowa. And I'm running my own construction company. It's called SSP Construction. I started, I always grew around construction because my forefathers, they're in construction. My, starting from my great-grandfather, my grandfather, my dad is a civil engineer. So I come from a background of civil engineering. So I, I used to live in Pakistan, in Aptabad, which is very north side of Pakistan. And then I, since I'm a U.S. citizen, so I moved to New York. I lived there for a year and a half, and that's when I decided that, you know, I need to go for civil engineering since it's in my blood, it's a family tradition, and besides that, it's very constructive. That's the main building, that's the, the side that's facing us right now, that's the main facing uh, face of the building. That's the drive through is around that building where you see that white truck, that's the drive through Once we are done with the, with the slab, then we go up with the framing. And the framing approximately takes around two weeks for the walls and stuff and a week close to, to put the trusses and everything. You see that, uh, that red sort of a fence that they put there? They're going to be putting a grease trap there. Grease trap is basically where all the sewage kind of goes in and from there it goes on forward to the main. The basic classes that we, I think, are really involved is reinforced concrete, which is CE 330, uh, 334, I'm not mistaken, yeah. That class is very important when it comes to uh, pouring the concrete and design of the concrete, you know, how much steel is going in. So that really helps when you're talking to the contractor. This project management, that really helped me with uh, understanding the scheduling and the budgeting of a construction project since I'm a civil engineer and don't have much information about construction. But, you know, these are, those are one of the classes which really help. If you decide to run a business, then you just have to step in. If you take the first step, then you, the next steps you automatically you automatically take your next steps. The most important thing is that you ask questions. I always ask different contractors, like the guy who's doing our surveying, the engineer, the architect, that okay, what what's the next step? As far as business is concerned, I feel like it's a lot of commitment. You have to put your hundred percent because there is no supervision over you. It's only you. If you mess it up. Uh, you mess it up big time because everything is has to be planned very carefully when it comes to a business and more into project management. You have to plan out everything from dot to dot.